Well, we're joined now, Ronica Farrar, with the Texas Panhandle Poison Center, part of the Texas Tech Health Science Center. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, glad to have you on. So, of course, I mean, I'm the weatherman, so of course, I'm always talking about how it's warming up, and you know, we talk about the hot weather and everything. But something that comes with that, unfortunately, for a lot of people around the area, is snakes start right. appearing. And so, you're here to talk to us, not necessarily about a specific event or anything. You're just here to tell folks what they need to know should you know what they need to do should they encounter any snakes and how to properly go about handling that because the last thing we need on our summer is a snake bite right that, that's correct yes we we would like for people to know how to uh, decrease the risk of being bitten and then what to do if unfortunately they do get bitten okay so what do people need to know like right off the bat of course snake bites i mean is it one of those things i mean just in my day-to-day -day life do i need to be worried about a snake just popping out from behind something random and get me on the ankle i mean are snake bites really common here in our area you know they are common we do have snake bites um i i, I don't think that we need to be necessarily overly concerned about it right. as we're going to our car and about our usual everyday business but if you're going to be walking somewhere where you can't see where you're stepping right. um, then you need to raise your level of awareness and know that we do have snakes here uh, primarily rattlesnakes is what we hear at the poison center uh, with bites um, but we have non-poisonous snakes too what we would really want you to do is to um, avoid being bitten if possible. Right. So wear some thick pants, some thick shoes if you're going to be walking through tall grasses or out where you might encounter a snake. And you can tap the ground with a walking stick to let them know that you're coming and hopefully never see one, hopefully scare them away. I mean, that's definitely the goal for sure. I mean, I'm like Indiana Jones. I, I don't like snakes for sure. And like said, so, I mean, seeing a video like this kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. But like <laughs> you said, really, I mean, you're, you're you know, the Texas Panel to Poison Center, I mean, you're here to kind of help with treatment and type things if somebody were to be bitten but of course your first plan of action is just to prevent that entirely and so of course like you were saying is there, there's lots of little precautions that you can take of course like i said if you're in tall grass if you can't necessarily see the ground but let's say somebody just is at home they live in a you know just like one of the you know subdivisions here in town they kind of live in a neighborhood i mean what do they, I mean, is that something, a threat you're going to face in just a typical neighborhood, or do you have to be out in the country to really worry about that? You really don't have to be out in the country. We, we have seen them in neighborhoods here, and we have had bites in uh, neighborhoods, so it's good to be aware and cautious anywhere, and it's good to know what to do if you do get bitten. If you see a snake, you know, stay away from it. Don't put yourself in harm's way. Stay away from it and hope they go on about their way, unless they're threatening your family or your home and you need to do something about them. And then you can, uh, I'll let you figure that out on your own, what you need to do about them. <laughs> different people have different ideas. So uh, that's not the poison center realm. But <laughs> right. um, if you do get bitten, then we want you to call the poison center. We say this is your, your snake bite kit right here. Call the poison center, go to the hospital. Get your keys, call the poison center, and go to the hospital. Um, it, we don't want you to use a tourniquet or a restricting bin. We don't want you to cut and suck or any of those John Wayne okay. heroics. Um, <laughs> we want you to clean it, keep it about the level of the heart if you can. Take off anything that is going around the limb that was bitten, so rings or watches or tight clothing, uh, because that is likely going to swell. So take off anything going around the limb, clean it, take a picture of the snake if you can without, okay. without putting yourself at more risk. Mm -hmm. If you can't, that's okay. Call the poison center and go to the hospital. So I do have a question. You right? know, when you're saying putting yourself in, in risk, in the area of risk, how close do you have to be to a snake for them to bite? How, how far is a safe distance away to, to be away from a snake? You know, I went to the uh, Sweetwater Rattlesnake Roundup um, one year, and I was amazed at how fast they can move when uh -huh. they want to. <laughs> so uh, I would say keep as much distance between yourself and the snake as possible. Um, I don't think they're known for going after you or anything like that, but if, if you can stay further away, then, then I would. Um, they can also strike very quickly, so even if it looks like they're slithering slowly, if they're cold up and ready to strike, it, it happens, I mean, you can barely see it with the naked eye. They move so quickly when they strike, so um, it better to stay a good distance away. Well, one of those things, don't necessarily stop and take the time to get close and see if you can identify it. Probably just best to leave it alone if you see a snake for sure, but we saw it on our screen just a second ago. What is the number for the uh, Poison Center? And, of course, just where can people find more information about the work y'all do in the community? 
Yeah, so 800-222-1222, and we'd love it if people just put that in their phone. Of course, snake bites happen out anywhere, right. uh, as well as other poisonings. So put it in your phone, have it available so that you can call us anytime. It's always a free call, um, and we'll help if we can. If it's a snake bite, we're going to help get you to the, the help that you need, and um, we're going to call ahead and kind of pave the way for you and make sure that they know you're coming and uh, try to try to get you the quickest care as possible. Oh, thanks, and that's a very important thing for sure. So thank you for coming and just sharing all these helpful tips with us today. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Of course.